So, who takes delivery of an outdoor wood-fired pizza oven at the end of October? <laughs> we do, of course. We do. So about a week ago, um, this authentic pizza oven, authentic wood-fired pizza oven, yes. uh, showed up in a big truck. A uh, guy with a lift dropped it down, brought it into our backyard along the pathway. Did and they kindly bring it to the backyard. And he kept saying to me, it's heavy. <laughs> so this weighs about 1,200 pounds. It's heavy. <laughs> um, it is a fully clay brick oven, uh, wood fired. So we get it into the backyard. So now we're gonna unpack it. So we, we took it out of the crate. Uh, a couple days go by, we come up with a plan to build this stand um, on wheels so we can move it around because we haven't quite decided if we where to put it where to put it permanently. And also in order to film, um, it makes a little <laughs> bit easier. It makes it a little bit easier if we can move it around um, for sunlight, for different things. So it's on wheels on this big heavy stand. We had to get a gantry crane. Uh, the company that makes them suggests using an engine hoist. And an engine hoist would have worked perfectly if we were lifting it up to like counter height. Um, yes, but but we needed to lift it a little bit higher so you could see it. So yeah, the camera could see in, so it's, it's a little bit easier. And I also wanted it a little bit higher because I've, I've seen a lot of professional ovens where the opening is a little bit higher. I'm getting old, I don't want to bend down and look inside. <laughs> it's okay, Glenn. It's okay. <laughs> so, we rented this gantry crane, and of course, you know, it's the end of October here. So by the time we kind of got it all together, you'll see. It's dark. It's dark by the time, by the time it lands, it's dark. And then it's, it's rained for, you know, four or five days. It is fall. Landed it on here, and then inside is all sorts of things. All the stuff. So there's a thermometer that comes with it. In Celsius. Yeah, it's in Celsius. So you need to um, when you when you get one of these ovens, you need to learn Celsius or have your your phone nearby. Um, yeah, you can convert to do the conversion. Ah. Conversion's really easy. And this so this is... just slides in like that. Oh, that's Boom. super handy. Assembled. <laughs> this, on the other hand, this is the uh, in case we get cracks. Yeah, so. So I'm just going to keep that sealed until that happens. <laughs> so, in speaking with the, the people that, that make these, um, over time, over the first three or four months that we use this cooling and heating and cooling and heating cycles, mm -hmm. you could get some cracks in the outside. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Um, those cracks don't affect the performance of the oven. No, but they're superficial. And if you want to, I will show you how to do that. But for me, if it was just me doing this in my backyard, I would leave the cracks to say, I use this oven. I use this oven. So, so maybe three months from now, you'll see a demonstration of how to do this. We'll do a demo. We'll, we'll, um, we'll have might, to wait till might I... wait till spring. <laughs> um, so there's the brush to put the ah a ceramic a, baking a dish. Ceramic baking dish. Um, that'll be amazing for doing like roast meats, roast vegetables, uh, and ceramic is perfect for the inside of this oven. Oh, it's only just got the one handle, so it's for push so it's in and push, out. Push in and out. All right. And ah, a door. The door. But of course, you can't just use it right away. No. So today, and we're going to start this in the next video, actually. Today, we're going to start doing the curing firing because this is handmade. All of the grout that holds it together um, has a little bit of moisture in it still. And if you put in like a full blast fire, um, it'd be no good. So you have to cure it. You have to slowly raise the temperature over a few days. Do I hold that? I'll hold that. I'll just carefully. Maybe not that much. So this is our new 
wood-fired pizza oven. Um, we're going to do a lot of bread in it. We'll do pizzas. We'll do roast meats. We'll do all kinds of things. So keep coming back to the channel to, uh, to watch us fire this up, use it, cook stuff in it. Um, pretty simple to assemble. Pretty simple to... Uh, there you go. It's almost assembled as we speak. I do believe I have the bolts here. The pins? The pins? I just have the pins. Yeah, sorry, pins. As soon as we get the pins on. 